Hey, it's Dr. Hampton here. And if you've had your gallbladder removed and someone told you you can't do keto or carnivore anymore, I'm here to set the record straight. Because guess what? I've heard a lot of questions in the comments from people wondering, can I still eat fat? Will I digest meat okay? Is keto safe without a gallbladder? And today, we're going to tackle all of it. We'll break down what the gallbladder actually does, what happens when it's removed, and most importantly, how to thrive on a low carb, high fat lifestyle, even without this little storage pouch. So if you love content like this and want to help me spread this message of metabolic health far and wide, put a heart in the comments to show your support. And of course, like this video. Now let's break down what happens after your gallbladder packs up and leaves the building. First off, what is the gallbladder anyway? Is it vital, essential, or just an organ that your surgeon can toss out like yesterday's leftovers? Let's be clear. The liver is the chef, it makes bile. Your gallbladder is the pantry. It stores, concentrates, and releases that bile when you eat a fatty meal. Bile is your body's natural fat detergent. It emulsifies fat, breaking them down into smaller droplets so your enzymes can get in there and do their thing. Without bile, eating butter or steak would be like washing bacon grease off your hands with cold water and no soap. It just smears around. Now the gallbladder's job is to make that bile more powerful by concentrating it and to release it quickly and in bulk when fat hits your digestive tract. So when you lose your gallbladder, you don't stop making bile, but you do lose the pressure sprayer that helps time the release. So what happens when the gallbladder is removed? Well, your liver still makes bile. That never stops. But instead of being stored and squeezed out during meals, it now trickles continuously into your intestines, like a faucet with a slow drip. That means two big things. You may not have enough bile on demand when you eat a fatty meal. And you may feel symptoms like bloating, greasy stools, or nausea after eating fat. Now here's the lesser known fact. And yes, this part is true. Your bile ducts, especially the common bile duct, can mildly enlarge over time. Why? Because your body's smart. When the gallbladder's gone, your biliary system tries to adapt. These ducts dilate slightly to hold a bit more bowel. Think of it as your hallway closet stepping in when the pantry's gone. But this is key. These ducts don't concentrate bile or contract like the gallbladder. They're passive storage at best. They help, but they don't perform the gallbladder's full function. Still, this mild adaptation is one reason many people can digest fat again over time with the right strategy. Let me explain this another way. Imagine you're washing a big greasy frying pan. If you have a bottle of concentrated dish soap with a pump, Boom, you squirt a powerful stream that cuts through the grease. That's your gallbladder at work. But now imagine that bottle's gone and you've got a slow trickle of diluted soap coming from the faucet. You're still cleaning, but it takes longer. It's messier and you need to be more strategic about it. This is how your body handles fat without a gallbladder. It can do it, but it takes planning, patience and a little backup support. So now let's get to the question that sparked this whole video. Can you do keto, carnivore, or low carb without a gallbladder? The simple answer is yes, you absolutely can. But let me be real clear with you. If you jump straight into a ribeye a day without preparing your body, you might feel awful. Not because the diet is wrong, but because your bile delivery system hasn't caught up yet. What's happening is simple. Your body is trying to manage fat without a concentrated bile release and your gut may not yet be efficient at breaking it all down. So what do you get? Loose stools, bloating, upper right abdominal discomfort, maybe even nausea or vomiting. But here's the good news. You can ease it, support your digestion, and retrain your system. And when you do, many people report feeling better than ever. No more sugar crashes. No more carb bloat. And yes, better bathroom habits. Let's talk strategy. Here's what I teach my patients who are gallbladder free and want to eat for metabolic health. First, start slow and small. Don't go from zero to 80% fat overnight. Begin with smaller meals spread throughout the day to give your liver a chance to trickle enough bile to keep up. Second, choose gentler fats. Try butter, ghee, egg yolks, MCT oil, 
and fatty fish. These are easier to digest than gristly steak or pork belly at first. Third, support digestion with supplements. Some people benefit from ox bile supplements, which mimic what your gallbladder used to release. Digestive enzymes with lipase can help, and so can things like bitters or apple cider vinegar, which naturally stimulate bile flow. Fourth, watch your fat-soluble vitamins. Vitamins A, D, E, and K need bile for absorption. Consider checking levels if you're experiencing fatigue, dry skin, poor night vision, or mood changes. And finally, pay attention to your poop. Floating greasy stools, that's a sign of fat malabsorption. Adjust meal size, fat source, or try bile support. Over time, your body adapts, your tolerance improves. Remember your liver is still on the job. It just needs a little backup support. Let's wrap this up with a few surprising facts. People who avoid fat for fear of symptoms may end up worse off. Why? Because low fat diets can decrease bile production and flow making digestion even harder. It's ironic that what some people consider one of the best diets, which is plant-based, may actually not allow your gallbladder to function properly. That's why gallstones are more common in low-fat dieters than high-fat ones. Your gallbladder needs stimulation. If it never contracts, bile stagnates and stones form. And by the way, bile isn't just for digestion. It also helps detox the body, removing cholesterol, hormones, and toxins through your stool. So fat isn't the enemy. A sluggish bile system is. And just because your gallbladder's gone doesn't mean your ability to burn fat, enjoy meat, or eat like a metabolically healthy human is gone too. So if you've had your gallbladder removed, don't let fear stop you from eating in a way that heals your body. You can do keto. You can go carnivore. You can reclaim your metabolic health, gallbladder or not. So if this video helped clarify things for you, drop a heart in the comments to show your love. And share your experience if you or someone you love had success with low carb after having gallbladder surgery. You never know who your story might help. And if you want more videos like this, click the playlist below so you can continue to learn how to achieve metabolic health and to protect your nest. Stay curious, stay courageous, and as always, stay metabolically healthy. I'm Dr. Tony Hampton, and I'll see you in the next video.